Hello, ladies. So this will be my very first Tea Tuesday. Hashtag Tea Tuesday is a collaborative. It seems to be, from what I'm understanding, very open. You can hop in, hop out, do it this Tuesday, don't do it for Tuesday, whatever you want. But you talk about your likes and dislikes with tea a little bit, and you tell about what's going on in your life, and you just share. That's what I'm getting from it. And I think it's an awesome collaboration, and I was really excited to get involved. Um, I think Annie Creates is going to get involved, too. We'll see. Maybe maybe quite a few of us will. I'd like to do a collaborative where we're both, a uh, couple of us are on the screen together. That's what I'd like to do. Anyways, I'm lighting my candle. I have my table ready. And what I'm thinking about sharing with you guys first is that I'm not drinking tea. I'm drinking tomato soup. It's my lunchtime. And the next time I do this, I'm going to try to remember to do it at a time of day where I would be um, have, sitting and having tea, but I'm having my lunch. I have a cheese stick and a cup of um, roasted pepper tomato soup. Oh, it's the best. So that's what I'm doing. And I wanted to, while I was here, go ahead and share. Um, I was on vacation for a week and I hit a couple Dollar Trees. I hit, um, let's see, a really beautiful craft store, art store in Salem. And so I'm hoping, I'm not sure if I have a receipt or if the tag's in there, but I can share it another time. But I met up with um, a friend of mine that I've known on YouTube for a year, um, this month's a year, and we just met up in person. And we um, got to give each other a hug. It was just a really wonderful thing. But um, her name is Sarah from Crafting Relaxing. So if you um, don't know about her, go check her out. She has an awesome channel. Mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So I'm going to do the exciting stuff first. So if you can't stay long, you at least get to see the exciting things, right? So this was from the art store that I went to and I grabbed um, Finnebar, Finnebar. Now I can tell you, this, this is just fantastic. Look at this. This is washi tape and I use it for the spine. See, I buy them really wide like this and I use them for the spine of my books that I make for people, the, um, the uh, glue books. Okay, so that was that. Then I found this, which I think this was the most expensive of my purchase. And it's really, it was more than I normally would spend. But look at that. Look at that. So this is Lynn per Perella collection from Paper Artsy. And I am thinking about what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing a boho journal starting this Friday, and then I'm going to pop back over to steampunk. And this, I think, will work really well with boho. And I think if I was to, you know, tweak it a little bit, I might could make it work for steampunk too, right? Look at those, just gorgeous. Okay, and then this one was on clearance. No, this one wasn't the one on clearance, but it was a good price. This one is Woodware Craft Collection Clear Stamp Set. But it's not a set, it's full size. But I can use this section if I want, or this section. Do you see the, the numbers on there? Again, steampunk and boho are what, what's on my mind and why I've gotten the things up there. Oh, here it is Runaway Arts and Craft Studio. And this one is in Salem. And they have a www.runawayart.com. So that's that's the store that I went to. And I also grabbed now uh, this one was on was on sale. I was excited about it. It's um boy, it's got a little bit of everything. You see that? It's got script, it's got lace, it's got numbers, it's got like a ruler. It's it's awesome. It's gonna be used on my daily plate. Okay, so then I also grabbed this because I only have stays on in black and brown and I thought I would try a yellow that would give me a lighter contrast. I bought these two little things. I have two friends I want to make cards for and these are little bouncy things and I just thought that was so fun, right? <laughs> so I'm going to put them in my little jar over here so that I don't lose them. And then 
I've got one, two, three, three paints. And these were on clearance. There's elephant, which is a gray, penny, and ancient, which is kind of a gold. And these are the Dana, Dana Wakely. And um, the lady said they might be a little, you know, they're 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 a little bit older but see i throw see it's 2017 but i throw things on the jelly plate and i can make it work because i'm rolling it around i'm not using it in a detailed way where something you know a little clump could bother me so i bought three of them and i was excited to see what i can do with those then they had these on clearance also i i'm a clearance girl let me tell you girls so i bought these and this is something i do quite a bit um this one says icing paste this one says effect paste. So um, they both are, they are both Finnebear. Is it Finnebear? That's the way it looks like it should be pronounced. But you never know. You never know. Let's see what we can do if we can get into this thing. Wow. So now this one says that it is Golden Nugget effect paste this is going to be exciting ladies mixed media coming my way wow that doesn't look golden at all does it well no there i see a shimmer on the screen to me it looks like little black little black pebbles let's see if we can put it on something because I'm a curious cat and I won't be able to stand it's in, it's in really good condition it's not dried out at all which was kind of what I was worried about Ooh, that's gonna look good see a little bit of sparkle there awesome okay so that one I'm gonna use really soon what I've been doing is making tags and envelopes on wild wednesday which i'll do again tomorrow live then what i'm doing with it is i'm making um mixed media with them you know layering and layering and layering so this one is icing paste and this one said rose gold so that one is like a glitter um golden nugget so it's got glitter in it and this wow they don't want you to just pop these out you better have some help. Definitely child proof. Okay, so oh, there we go. So now this one is looking from the side like it's a shimmer. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. Are you going to be able to imagine? Oh, you guys are going to see this on everything. Let me see. Okay, so here's a piece of paper. Look at that. Let's say you're just doing anything and you want to just put a little something on the back of the paper you're using and then layer it from there. Now, that's a rose gold. It looks more gold gold, but it's rose gold in person. That's, you know what? It's because rose gold does, but it has a bit of a coppery sense to it. Oh, that's awesome. And like I said, the ladies, I hit the sales. I definitely hit the sales. So now, for I don't even know how long it's been, but I've been looking for something that I finally found at the Dollar Tree, and that is the wooden dominoes. I don't know if any of you follow um, Nicole uh, relax cut and glue but she's fantastic and I love watching what she does with things and she had these and every cent that's balsa wood and every since I've wanted some so now I have them and I'll be able to alter them and do some fun things with them and uh, get that out of my system because I was really I was really wanting that you know I was going to every Dollar Tree. If we went into a different town for something, I was hitting the Dollar Tree. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I don't know if I'm using for myself. I got, um, when I made a purchase on, on at an online market, my purchase was sent to me inside of one of these boxes. And I just thought that was awesome. Now, I don't, like I said, I don't know if I'll, you know, make things that I could send to somebody in them. 
or if I just want to set them around the room with little things in them. I don't know. I'm sure we could all come up with some ideas, right? All righty, but those, they stack. At least they look like they do. I don't know what they do, but they do something. So I don't know how many of those. Looks like I bought three of those. Let's see if I can push that back a little bit. Now, I was telling you how I had those, those friends that I wanted to make something. Well, I got this idea. How fun would it be to send it to them in these? Wow. What is that? That is a fun, fun way to send something because I'm watching the um, Annie Creates Her when everyone sends her the ATC and um, Melissa over at um, Buy Mimi with Love. Um, they are getting all kinds of real. Hi, Elizabeth. How are you, sweetie? They're getting all kinds of fun um, entries into their challenge, into their uh, contest challenge thing. And people are coming up with all kinds of inventive ways to, to uh, package it. And I just, when I seen these, I knew I had to. So there's a green, a blue, and I bought three pinks because I'm a pink. I'm a pink. Uh, oh, I could say something naughty, but I won't. Um, I just love pink. I love it. Not so much this color, I'm more of a pale pink, but pink is pink and I'll take what I can get. <laughs> okay, and then they have this at the Dollar Tree. This is a really good mat. I'm gonna have it here on my desk or near my desk so when I'm doing something, you know how you're doing something and it just, you need something sturdy underneath there? Look at that, it was a dollar. And I got this, I don't have any idea what I'm gonna do with it. I might put it in a drawer. Elizabeth says she's well. How are you? How was your vacation? My vacation was awesome. I, my husband and I haven't had such a good vacation. We said probably in five years, uh, you know, there was just always something going on that we would have to worry about. But not this time. There was just everything went great. Check this out. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I'm actually thinking about maybe creating, I about three of them about creating a little stand that they, you know, that they could, like a cardboard stand that they could go in and out of. Because I like to make things with cardboard. Sometimes I don't do it a lot, but I, I have done it in the, or, or foam core, core, foam core, core foam, la, 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 you know what I mean? And if you don't, it's at the Dollar Tree, foam core sheets, that's what they're. Okay, and then I'm always looking for these because I like to make new colors of, um, my spray, so I'm always putting something in a spray bottle and wanting to spray it on something. These, I was thinking the same thing as with all of this stuff is, it's just so cute and decorative. Wouldn't that be cute to send an ATC card on? I mean, like you could make the AT, oh, that's the other thing is I have my a ATC card um, book, which I'm excited about. But it's the best it's kind of bulky, but I I bought two of them because I figured, well, it is kind of bulky, but I think I can make it work. It's just too cute. It's got, it, I mean, for a dollar, they've already done all the work, right? But they would be fun to make. I don't know. I just was mesmerized. So I bought two. I bought two. And then... I think the last thing is this. Everything is so difficult to open today. It must be me. And it was just a really pretty notepad. It is a cute little clippy board, and they're and they're um they're sticky notes. So I needed them for my desk. I assumed. <laughs> I just felt like that was something that I absolutely needed, right? So what I did need, though, is I needed a new wind chime to go outside of my window because I sit here in my office and there's a deck out there that I can hang this off of. And isn't that gorgeous? It's going to make me happy. And then these. That's the last Dollar Tree item. And boy, boy, oh boy, did I, did I do it, right? I just, I bought a lot. But... It was several different trips to the store, and it was vacation, so you kind of do that. But, oh, my goodness, did I have, I just really had a great time. 
we were on a river and that made it to where we could we had somewhere to go so we would get up and have breakfast and that and then walk down to the river it was just really lovely so i'm going to set all of this aside and bring out my book turn the pages and i'm going to show you guys something else i've had this for a couple of weeks and i felt bad because i should have been getting it done but it it just they, all these other things kept coming up and you'll um find that some things go to the back burner right i have a new uh goodwill junk jewelry haul and i'm gonna open it up it's been sitting here you guys i just hardly could stand it it's not the greatest one i already know that i can tell but i've been watching the ladies some of my new friends and i'm thinking although i wouldn't necessarily use this myself um in the past i know now what i what i can use it for there's all these beautiful charms and dangles and things the girls are making with big chunky oh it's okay elizabeth i understand i'm just glad you're here but these um there's just these chunky dangles and things that the ladies are making that it just looks like it'd be really fun but two months ago i would have been like oh i'm gonna have to just well which it's not a problem giving it to the kids you know sometimes that's the great thing to do Ooh, this is interesting that that is fun i'll bet you i can come up with some fun things especially towards halloween i don't know that i'm going to do uh halloween per se journals but i am going to try um to continue on this gothic thing that I did this last year. Now that's interesting. I don't know if, oh, look at that. It's magnetic. Those strips would make an awesome tassel. Hmm, I'll have to remember that. Ew, body, body stuff. I don't know. Hopefully it hasn't been, well, all of this stuff has probably been used, so I need to just deal with it. I always go wash my hands. And, um, and sanitize oh wow that's awesome set that there and i love pearls what i do with pearls is when i don't use them white i go ahead and uh put them in a little container with alcohol and can shake it up I learned that from tim holtz and then you can change them to any color of alcohol ink you have those are sweet i might send those to my friend those are um little little blue stars. Hey, there's rings. Look at there, guys. Opal and amethyst. And that's funny because I love opals and my birth zone is an amethyst. Wow. All righty. I have never gotten a ring in one that would be uh, considered, you know, jewelry, jewelry. That's pretty. Oh, goodness. This is one of those. Look at that. Oh, it's got a little kink in part of it. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to. But anyways, that's really pretty. I use these um, silver hoops and things for mixed media. I'm going to have to get on a project soon. Okay, we've got... There's always things tangled up. That's just part of the adventure. Is can you untangle it? We don't know. My husband will do it for me if I can't get it. That's a lot of um, that's a lot of shells. I might have to use those in resin. I could take them off of the string. I'll check this out though. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. This is starting to get fun. So now this is fun. I think this is a parrot. A parrot necklace that's that's awesome for a junk journal and then this one which is really tangled in here this red you see the red in there that's just like grabbing my eye but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to well I might be able to at least get these two on oh look at this oh my goodness it's a little elephant 
I don't know if you can tell. Definitely something I've never seen before. It's cute though. I have friends that like elephants. Not funny how you, if you know somebody who likes something, oh my gosh, you just, you see it and you're like, okay, so this is two different, is it? You know what? Crazier things have happened, but this could be all one necklace. I have a couple that have the three strands across. And if they, I think that's what this is. Anyways, I'm not going to completely undo it, but look at that. That is so fun. Look at the sparkles. That's going to get used or gifted because I know some people who like red. That's pretty. Different. Pretty different. <laughs> Okay, I'm not going to try to get too far into that. Now, we're getting towards the bottom. Like I said, this wasn't, I knew this wasn't going to be the best one. Oh. Somebody gave up their, their picture. The San Francisco Senior Ball, the magic moment, May 26, 2001. Oh, my goodness. How funny is that? All righty, so what do we have now? We have, I, I love mustache watch. You know what I want to do? Have, has anyone seen the where they take the watches and they make spiders and dragonflies and things out of them? That's what I want to do. That or take it apart and use the gears and resin. So I'm always looking at things for a reason. Oh, I have one of these. Those are nifty. Oh, another watch. Maybe that's why this one was a little more spendy. Um, some sort of hoop earring, a barrette. Ooh, that's pretty. And more pearls. That's a cute barrette. Oh, there's another ring. That's interesting, but I don't know what it is. Don't know. Let's see. Oh. Oh, wow. Look at this, ladies. I don't know. Does anyone know? Like, it, I don't think it's a rosary, is it? You don't have to tell me. It's beautiful, though. Very vintagey. Look at this. It's one of those. I got one of these in Hawaii years ago. It's it's metal or magnetic. No, maybe not completely, but it, it does want to stick to itself. But it's, wow. The one I had didn't have any closure. You just wrapped it around your neck and then it, uh, attached it like that. This one has a closure. That's pretty cool. Oh, a big, a big duck. So far we've had parrots and ducks. That is so cool. I love that. I don't know what kind of, maybe a country journal would be, it would be good on a tassel. I don't know if it's adorable though. Oh, another watch. So that's three watches in this one. That one's vintager, more vintage, vintager. I'm making up words as we go, ladies. That's pretty. It's like um, Cinderella. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's best friends. Getting down to the nitty gritty. Things I don't even recognize. That's really cool, though. Oh, and a key. I've not had a key in one before. That's that's a really pretty necklace or bracelet. I'm not sure how I could incorporate it, but I'll bet I could. And we are at the bottom, ladies. There's some seed beads, red, white, and blue. Just a, a couple of little this and that. Nothing fantastic. So we have looked at Dollar Tree items. We have looked at a haul from um, the awesome art store that I don't remember the name of. And we have looked at the um, jewelry that came in the junk jewelry jar. That was a lot. Now you know what I have to do, right? I have to organize and put away and figure out where it all goes and what to do with it all. 
what I'm actually going to do, you guys, just in case anyone's curious, is when it comes, I think um, I've settled on July, I'm going to be doing um, an online sale where all of the junk jewelry that I've been collecting that I don't want will be getting sold. And so keep your eyes open for that. That will be that will be in July. And other than that, the biggest thing going on in my life right now is that our face yard sale. <laughs> I I need to, Elizabeth. I really do. I was looking in the garage um, today, actually yesterday, and I and I remember thinking there's so many times that I've been seeing on the Facebook sales. Um, that people are just like, you know, garage sale at my house, or I have this art stuff for this price, pick up, you know, blah, blah, blah. And so I really need to think about doing something like that. I am overloaded with supplies, but opening the junk journal jars is fun. And the Dollar Tree stuff, majorly, um, is an organ organizing option. All of this stuff is for organizing, but I might, you know what I'm thinking? It just occurred to me that what I might do with this is wash you take the, the three of these together. And I gotta figure out exactly how they how they sit on each other. It looks it seems like that's the bottom. I'm doing it all upside down. There we go. So they were all upside down. So if I do this and get them just right and then washi tape them, decorative, you know, washi tape, and then have the whole stack like that. And uh, set it set it somewhere near where I can put little things, and then I could put one of these on top of it. Wouldn't that be cute with the little saying to remind me to have a good day, right? Just say something that says "Have a good day, Melody." But I'm looking forward. Let me take off some of these rings. I'm looking forward to. See, there you go. Just like that. I'm always finding something to put into, into one of these little containers. That's why it's not a waste for me to have them. Because I'll find something to put in them. But uh, Monday is the big um, big celebration. We're going to have a huge giveaway. We are going to have, we have 10 volunteers that have massive amounts of beautiful things for people. We're talking digital kits. We're talking actually made junk journals. We're talking junk journal supplies. We're talking everything that that everything that's there you would be happy to have. And so we're going to have at least 10 to 15 winners, if not more. And there are going to be things that everybody gets, like just blanketed, everybody gets. So that's why I tried to get as many people uh, into the group before Monday so that they could participate in it and uh, kind of have a chance to go around and look and stuff. But Elizabeth, we are so excited to just get it to where we're going to have fun, relax a little bit, you know. But all righty. So I think that is about it for me. I think I've said and, and shared everything. And I'll go finish my soup. But I had to drive uh, two or three miles away to find these kind of things because they're not at my Dollar Tree. So if you don't see them at your Dollar Tree, just know that it's because uh, some Dollar Trees don't have them. And that's kind of a bummer. But it is what it is, isn't it? Thank you, ladies, for joining me. And I don't know when I will come back for the next Tea Tuesday. But when I do, I uh, will have something exciting to talk about, share, or show you. See you later. Bye-bye.